Jay Powell met with Sam Bankman Freed for one hour just weeks before that March 2022 acquisition made by Alameda of that of 80 percent of the of the equity of that bank. Wow. I have no idea what they talked about, but not a lot of people get a full hour with Jay Powell and Sam Bankman Freed did. <laughs> going to a different economy. And we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers in Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box. Uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to 8% of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American, you know. Uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it is it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETF, are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New Road Order book shows you how the world really works and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. Now, guys, I told you in 2023, in the first quarter, we would get an event. And now we have the banking collapse, which the master magicians pulled off the perfect distraction. And at the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, guys, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, the markets will still pump and dump until we get that next crisis. Guys, we know they're going to pull that rug. And all we have to do is watch the Fed to know exactly when that's about to happen. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash App Patreon. Much love. 
Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual cash app. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And guys, the crypto teacher is back. And we're starting to see more and more distractions. And as they step it up, guys, I'm going to be stepping it up too. Now, the previous two weeks before the week the YouTube channel was shut down, my videos were coming out later during the night because I was spending more and more time with my son. We know school was about to start. So, guys, videos will be back early. Now, my youngest son's birthday was last Saturday on the 19th. Of course, I couldn't let you know on this channel. But Carson turned one. If you want to still celebrate, you can definitely hit that cash out. But guys, we see the market is pulling back. Why? Because yields are rising. Guys, you know I talk about it and then they go and write about it. We have the 10-year moving up to a 2007 high. We have the 30-year moving up to a 2011 high. Now, we still have the NASDAQ moving up. Why? Because we know tech is going to be giving their earnings. But guys, we know they've been lowering their earnings, so therefore they can manipulate the numbers. And we know NVIDIA is the biggest one everybody's going to be looking at on Wednesday. And then, guys, we have the dollar up also. And we know when yields are up, the dollar up, that is not good for markets. And then we have volume and crypto slightly up. We have Tether and USDC. And we had Tether sent out a tweet about his gold back token and is physically stored in Switzerland. And you guys know how I feel about gold and silver storage. Guys, you can store it yourself. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo at $1.8 trillion. Guys, make sure you keep an eye on that. But that's Friday numbers. I'm pretty sure it's going to be lower today. Now we have the Fed Jackson Hole on Thursday and Friday. The speech is going to be on Friday. So Jerome will be in the house this week. You know I'm going to bring you that. But guys, we know the central banks are raising rates and run off the balance sheet in order to destroy this legacy market so the fourth industrial revolution can rise. Whether robots, algorithms, and drones take the economy over, pay each other with crypto, and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And guys, you heard in that video, Caitlin Long from Custodial Bank was being interviewed by Thinking Crypto. And we had the Fed shutting down Farmington State Bank for dealing with digital assets and not advising the Fed. But guys, we clearly see that Sam Bankman Free was meeting with Jerome Powell. But we know the bank man was just a character in the movie. Because, guys, we see a meeting with the SEC, the CFTC, the Fed, the politicians. It was all just a big distraction in order to set up this fourth industrial revolution. We know what the bank man was really working on. Derivatives on blockchain being ran by an algorithm. You're talking about hundreds of trillions of dollars and not a human involved. So, therefore, you will own nothing but you still supposed to be happy. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, we have Grayscale sitting about $21.8 billion. But getting over into a little crypto news, this article states Binance has limited withdrawals and deposits in Europe, citing payment processor issues. But guys, we know the two sides have already been created. Anyone given Binance issues is normally in the West, and he's getting approved in the Middle East and the emerging markets. Now, we have Coinbase see tepid interest in bond buyback offer that could signal an upside. And remember, investing is looking five and ten years down the road. Not six months, not a year, not two years. It's five and ten years down the road. And these digital assets are definitely the future. Now, we have Vitalik Buterin transfer 600 ETH valued at around $1 million to Coinbase. And we know Vitalik is not shy about getting prepared for the bear market. Now, we have crypto exchange BitGet to require mandatory ID verification for users. And guys, we know privacy is going to be out the window. But remember, when it comes to these social media platforms, 
They're going to be your KYC. All your information is already just about there. And speaking of social platforms, lastly, we have China proposed to bring its social credit system to the metaverse. And guys, the man that predicted everything, of course, is me. I wrote about it. And the crypto teacher told you about it a long time ago. But remember, my people perish from a lack of knowledge because they reject it. Not because it's not there, because they reject it. And you know, when it comes to technology, I give you both sides, which is the truth. Nothing but the truth. Yes, the truth hurts, but it sets you free. And guys, when we look at the metaverse, it's nothing but the virtual world. And then when you take it to reality, you're talking about you're just in a dream state. We've all had dreams that seemed like they were reality. It was like you having an out-of-body experience. And then some days, a few days later, you feel like a deja vu because something you dreamed about actually happened in reality. Those who are part of my Patreon that read that CIA document on the power of the mind, Understand they want your mind, body, and soul. Just remember what they already admitted, that the brain has been hacked. And remember the crypto teacher told you, because he knows when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books. Crypto teacher and the new world order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance, do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, the receiver, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figures. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, so therefore we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1, King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.